the docs meeting. Hey, Mike um, and Jamie, thanks for coming. I'm just going to throw the notes um, here in the notes doc here somewhere. OKD working group, just to add your name if you don't mind as you join. But we can sort of formalize a little bit more um, these meetings. I haven't been doing that other than recording them. So I um, wanted to do that and then share um, quickly, just share my screen so we have the, the agenda in the video for people who want to follow along via the agenda. And I had really only one item here today. I'm sure I should have more. Um, but it was really an update on the migration of the guides and the, the template creation and the status of the, um, the guides repo that's in El Maiko's repo and whether or not we can move it to um, um, OKD.IOs anytime soon. So I thought that was really the topic I wanted to talk about today. Did you guys have that other ones? No, and there's not an update on that because I haven't gotten the stubs to be non-stubs yet, the few that are. So um, okay. once that's done in the next couple days. Hey, Bruce is here. Hey, Bruce. Hi there. Welcome. I just put the, the docs meeting. It may be a very short meeting because not a lot of work got done. Um, because everybody was working on other things this past. Yeah, week. I can understand that. I did. I did put up a uh, taxonomy in Slack. Uh, okay. I made it. I made a GIF and uh, or you, whatever those are called. Can you uh, and, the gist? Uh, a gist? gist. Yeah, that one. Can you share the gist um, link here? Um, I think so. Let me just. And I'll add it in. Find it. Because that might be a good thing to, to chat about um, for a few minutes. Um, because from the update from Jamie, we haven't really um, moved the needle forward this week. Um, so I'm sure you're all moving those needles in other spaces, so I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> yes, well, I'm, my, my uh, I guess Vadim has managed to take out my test installation. Um, and uh, so Oops. that's still sitting. On the other hand, I managed to uncripple my my real one, so that was good news. Uh, so GitHub. Hoping Joseph. Wait, who 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 was the person last that was in the meeting last? Well, two weeks ago, I guess it would be who actually wrote up not the taxonomy, but someone else wrote up. Uh, Eric. Um, yeah. So I didn't catch who that was actually. I just saw something posted in the chat. Um, that they did like sketches basically with like stick people and stuff like that. Oh, I had Eric here. Yeah, if you have the link to that, throw that in the chat too. Um, and Let's see if I can find that. And we'll take a, take a look at that and that. So maybe we'll take a look at the taxonomy. Um, I know, Jamie, you're going to do a little bit of work on it this week, and we'll see if we can move the needle and get that over into the OKD work. I think um, the blog post went out, um, and I've gotten some good feedback from um, product managers and other people around um, the work that we're doing here. The other thing, and I'll bring it up at the OKD working group um, while we're sitting here waiting for um, Bruce to find his GIST file. Yeah, I'm, um, sorry, I'm, I'm in, I'm in uh, GitHub, but I don't see where I find GIST. Okay. No, you type, the, type the letters G-I-S-T in your browser, and it will come up from your history. It's, okay. So GIST, that'll work. Yeah, but it should be possible to get it from uh, GitHub, right? Uh, uh, yeah, see. I think. Guest, but well, gastrointestinal stromal tumor. So the other thing that I wanted to mention and, and ask people's opinion of, um, there is um, some work that, uh, around the OCP nightlies. Um, uh, any of you use the OCP nightlies? Not the OKD ones, but the OCP nightlies? Or anybody on this call doing using that yet? Just the OKD nightlies. Okay. I mean, yeah, I, te I test with OCP nightly is all the time. Okay. Is the is the idea that um, the OC that there is a need for more OCP nightly testers, or what what's well, motivating yeah. your question? My, what's motivating my question is is people looking for other people to test the OCP nightlies, um, which would mean at the point at this point in time they have to use um, our as or Rel Core OS, so. Um, I'm just looking to hear what people, and I know because Mike, you're inside of Red Hat, so you have all the subscriptions to anything you need. So that's that's a difference. I was just curious, and I'll ask again next week too, just to, 
just to get people's feedback on who's who's looking at that stuff. Um, I can. So if someone needs some help, I can automate a bill to that. Well, we're, we're looking at building the community of like some sort of community hub for people who do that work. So um, I was just looking for um, out external to Red Hat. So something different um, from OKD. So I was just curious if anybody was, and I'll ask again next week. <clears throat> so there's the gist file, Bruce. Do you want to share your screen and open it up and show us your uh, taxonomy? And we'll use some time today oh. to. Okay, sure. Uh, let's see. Another button. How to allow. Okay. Oh, Lordy. That's okay. Uh, Everybody loves these <laughs> And then we'll switch uh, gears. Was this the sharing screen? You have to go to system. Are you on a Mac? And yeah, I'm on a Mac. System preferences? Uh, yeah, go to your system preferences and, and there's a little checkbox. Yeah. So Bruce, you're Mike, while well, he's doing that, has anybody added anything more to um, your repos? Any of the, um... Ooh, we just lost Bruce. Well, you have um, to restart. Once you uh, check that box, you have to actually restart Blue Jeans. Uh, no, I haven't had any more additions. Um, you know, Jamie, if you're good on that change that I tagged you on, at, um, the, you know, like I don't, I don't have a ton of time during the day, during the week to hack on the docs, but like the next thing I was going to do was kind of the same thing that Jamie's thinking about, which is like changing the, we still have a couple like Vadim's and Shri's and Charo's. And I think there's one other, um, I think that there's one that you added Jamie, that's a link out to another, um, right. another right. place like, yeah, those studs. those need so to be cleaned make up. The studs, yeah, exactly. Yeah, just clean those up and like even like I liked the automated systems content you put in there too. Like I thought I thought that was good as well. It like gives a great example of like an add-on type of document where you're describing something very specific. Um, you know, to Diane to your original point, like I'm ready to move that to OKD.io whenever you want. If you want to move that repo, whenever well, you're I'll ready. Wait until Jamie does his updates. So that way the two of you can flux and jam on that and merge and pull and all that stuff. And then um, that way I won't be a bottleneck if somebody can't raise the dead and um, get me to do the merge or something. And then okay. when we're ready, ready with that, we'll do that. And then we'll we'll make a little blog about it um, as well to go along with it to make Joseph happy and, and get the word out. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, so, like, you know, I guess depending on, you know, I, I just keep an eye out. If, you know, if Jamie puts up PRs, I'll I'll review them and whatnot. Um, and I'll, if, I'll message you. I just haven't had a chance to do anything and and, and okay. won't until probably, like, tomorrow or Thursday. And then I'll be. Yeah, no no worries. Changes, so I'll let you yeah, know. like, if nothing if nothing's happening, like, and I get some time on the weekend, I'll probably. The next thing I was going to do is just start hacking on some of those to make them all look consistent. So I think it sounds like Jamie and I are both on the same page in terms of what needs to happen next. Yeah, I think you, you got it. And then maybe um, sometime on Monday we could do the merge over so that on Tuesday at the next OKD full working group meeting, it might be in the OKD repo. So let's use that sort of as a time frame if you guys get through it. Um, and I'll be I'll be around for all day Friday too. So if you get it done before Friday or the before the end of the weekend. I have a little bit of stuff going on this weekend, but um, I'm, I'm normally online. So, Bruce, okay, yeah, sounds good. you're back. <laughs> okay. Show us your well, time. Yeah, it, it kicked me out, so let's just see if I can do this now. Ooh, okay, yeah. so click oh, okay. here. Uh, sorry. Oh, there we go. Can you see that? Yep, I can see you. And there we go. Okay. Perfect. Walk us through this. Uh, Yeah, so this I actually got some uh, suggestions from uh, third parties uh, that that I incorporated, but uh, okay. and actually there were some things that I had left out on purpose because I didn't want to get into the complexities of it. But uh, th this was just sort of a uh, you know sort of the, the big choices going from the top down, and uh, you know so it's per I, I would say obvious to most people that have played around with it very much. Um, so um, the only question that I have is, and, and it's just a naming convention, uh, and is the libvert one. Um, 
is that and I think we we said we were going to start calling it libvert and not bare metal anymore. Um, but are, did we make a decision about that? Because I think that impacts a little bit what the work that Mike and Jamie are doing um, for the stubs and everything. Are we in the stubs and the guides? Are we still calling it bare metal libvert? We we only have one bare right now. We we changed one of the bare metals into home lab, and the other bare metal will become single node. I think like we have to be careful because like libvert does not equal bare metal. Like, you know, you could be that's, running bare metal directly on the metal, right? Yeah, right. I think that we, yeah, that, that's what, that's the conversation I was uh, referring to. So as long as well, the yeah. is good standard. Yeah, that, that, was, that was my issue as, as well, uh, Mike, that uh, you know, to me bare metal is, okay, I've got a box with no operating system on it. Where do I yeah. go next? Where, where, and where? Pretty, pretty much all, all of the bare metal ones I've seen so far really run on top of, uh, some version of a Unix like thing. And is the libvert ones that we're talking about all going to be um, UPI? Uh, uh, there could, it could be IPI with uh, OpenStack. Right. Although that's that uh, to me, that would be another like that was one that I didn't put in, but that would be a uh, well, no, I did put it in. Okay. So I've got that under cloud provider. Uh, so you're you're building your own cloud provider essentially, but yeah. Um, so I think and yeah, yeah that, and that's that's uh, now. Yeah, I was trying to think of that the the uh, like Charo, like we have we have a difference between Charo and uh, Joseph, uh, and that uh, Charo is pushing uh, little nook boxes, you know, farms of them. Like he's actually spent more than enough to get a blade server, um, but uh, and then Yosef is going with with uh, you know a, a big single server and running VMware on it. Um, and I'm not I'm not sort of making that distinction. Uh, I guess it's implied by the you know the choice of like Yosef is using VMware and Charo is using uh, Libvirt. Um, and the uh, the people that did the uh, the bare metal one, uh, whose names aren't on the tip of my tongue, uh, and, were also Andrew, using Libvirt. Andrews, yeah, Sullivan, and um, yeah, yeah Jay, and uh, yeah, the other guy who, who who did it a year ago. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it'll come to me by the end of the meeting. Oh um, yeah. Okay. Justin Pittman. It, yeah. Yeah, no, thank you. They thank both you. were J's. There you go. That's all I had in my brain. Um, on the number four, the DNS, um, is that DNS and DHCP or is... Well, see, that's that's the annoying thing because uh, DNS mask uh, does a whole bunch of stuff, mm -hmm. um, whereas bind is just DNS. So, um, and uh, you know, so that that's if you want ugliness in my taxonomy, um, it's more of a I guess a graph than a tree. Um, but uh, most people don't seem to like so, using DNS mask anyway, for whatever reason. Yeah. I guess for from a hobby lab standpoint, it sort of makes more sense if you if you're not actually doing like sysadmin or like bind. If you're doing sysadmin, you're probably used to that. You know, because it's been around, you know, for half centuries anyway, almost. But yeah, so that's, uh, uh, like I could put DNS mask under uh, IP assignment uh, to nodes. And, and again, the IP assignment to nodes, that was a little bit, I, I guess it's, I didn't have a decent name for that because uh, you know, like we've got three different levels of uh, uh, IPs going on, right? Uh, and here I was just talking about the uh, UPI part of it. Okay. But, uh, you know, I mean, if you want to, you know, like, I'm, uh, I'm again, just, the this, only reason this I'm just, asking that if it doesn't bother anybody else um, is because from last the workshop and that's just the uh -huh. way we phrased it in the in the title so um yeah 
Okay, so who was using, but was anybody using DNS mask in the workshop? I don't think so. Oh, I don't think so, no. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I, I know I didn't see uh, uh, Craig's, but uh, he used bind last I saw. Yeah, I think so. So the goal with this is um, like, I, I really actually very like it's that I like the way that you've broken it down is um, to make sure we have um, this is sort of the flow of all the decisions you have to make. It's like a decision tree, basically, right, when you're basically. deploying a, a cluster. Um, and that with each of these items on this list, there might be a link to or a little bit of um, documentation about um, this topic in relation to deploying an OKD cluster. Or is this just the fair right. warning? Fair warning list. Well, you need to know all about these things. Um, right. See, mo most of our, uh, like, one of the things that, uh, uh, like, th th these are not choices that have a right answer in my mind. Uh, it's, it's more a matter of taste and preference. Um, and pretty much each of our demos makes choices along these lines. Mm -hmm. um, and so it, part of the documentation could be pulled out as, you know, like before you get into a you know, 20 page uh, Charo demo, what are you setting yourself up for? Yeah. Um, so that you don't sort of get 15 pages through and decide that, oh, that's incompatible with my setup. Yeah. Uh, I think this is, I really like this because it's one, it, it's, it's, it's good for someone like myself that doesn't do this on a regular basis to realize, like you said, what I'm getting myself into. But it's also um, uh, a good way to, to um, I, I'm trying to figure out how we're going to surface this in, I, I guess I'm, what I'm struggling is, how we, is this a blog post or is this a section in the guide, guidance and templates that we can use, use it as um, and just keep fleshing out like one, You've got templates in the guidance for deployment, but this is almost like, this might be something that comes off of the readme file or a higher level grouping um, there. And I, um, I'm not sure, you know, how, I, it's, it's hugely useful. So that's not what I'm, I'm not saying that it's not, but I'm just trying to figure out where we put it um, in terms of the documentation. My suggestion, would be that we do actually turn this into a a blog post because it gives us more sort of visual a sort of ability to to manipulate it visually and to link out to other things in a more sort of web pagey fashion as opposed to um, the GitHub uh, uh, markdown language. Um, I like the idea of actually linking out to some resources on these because it's not like anyone's forced mm -hmm. to click on links to sure. bind or anything like that or a tutorial on bind or whatever. So in other words, you know, following the, the basic premise of, of uh, hyperlinking, right? if someone wants to click on it and, and mm -hmm. go dig further, they can. If they already know how to use bind, then they just know that they need it, right? And so I would be inclined to link these things out just whatever ones that we can if we can't find a link out um somewhere in the world that's a good explanation of how to do that thing then you just don't provide a link to it you know or a link from it i should say from that particular item right well all these items have hundreds of potential links right uh because they have uh you know like official documentation which is often hundreds of pages of uh, stuff that you can only read if you already know what you're doing. Uh, and then tutorials, which cover some trivial case, that's not really enough to get you started. Uh, and it, it seems that in a lot of cases, 90% uh, of it is on one extreme or the other. So if you don't want to read the, uh, the actual real documentation, then you're sort of going from searching to searching for the particular issue that you're having. Um, and I, actually, I'm mainly thinking of HA proxy on that one because uh, I, I never did get it to uh, do the the ready Z or ready Z, if you will, uh, checks. 
uh, whenever I set it up to try and do that, then uh, it just claimed that they were all dead. Uh, so. Then I guess the of... question would be what, you know, do we think that it's valuable to link out to something or do we think uh, well, that it's, there's too much out there? Um, I mean, I, I can. I can uh, uh, I think that what, what I, I'm. I, I, yeah, oh. I, I, I'm, I'm agreeing with you. I'm just, I guess. Uh, we could turn this really quickly into a blog, uh, a markdown blog on okd.io using Joseph's um, methodology for posting it there, and and basically call it the you know the dis you know the decision tree for deploying um, this, and then put a little a paragraph at the beginning, and um, if it lives in Markdown, then people can. Um, as it, it'll live on for a while as a blog post. I hate blogging documentation by blogging. That's you might everybody hears this every time I'm on a call. Um, we could do that for now to start it there and then collectively point people to it to say, okay, so um, and I'm just going to grab one is level two load balancing um, with F5. Um, either put it to the generic thing in F5. Don't you know maybe not go to F5.com, but to the place in the documentation. Um, that references that, but there, I like there is no F5 plus OKD piece of documentation that I know of, unless there's something in docs.okd.io already. Um, but well, we, that I, might be something that we delegate to people, um, or or offer up as something that can be done. So because I did the F5, I'm the one who added the F5 stuff. Right. You know, so, I can write yeah, an F5 document, but some things won't. We won't get a volunteer for every single thing, right? right. So, so I think yeah, if we that was at James, you know. Yeah. So I think so, that's the, the the thing that I'm trying I'm trying to figure out the next steps with this is it's great, and um, I noticed that um, I'm not sure who developer is. I can see your face, so hi. Um, and um, I think it's Mike Turk um, is here um, as well. So it just we're just sort of running through where this should live, and, and I think while it's under development. Like while we're figuring out, you know, this decision tree, because other people will will want to add more things to it, um, right. and, the, and we could put a note at the bottom of it if you want to make hi, um, an addition to it. Go to okd.io and make a pull request against this specific blog file, and we can merge it, and we can I can manage the blog process of people updating it on a reoccurring basis, and then when we get to a point where it feels like it's something. Um, that should live on beyond the blog. Um, maybe it gets turned into a chapter in the guidance books um, once it's moved over there. Or it could go into the guidance right away. Um, that's the other thing. But I think the blog might be a better way to socialize this to start with mm -hmm. and um, get more feedback on it. Um, and if all, all basically we would need, Bruce, is an opening paragraph about what the goal is here. You know. And, and maybe 250 words max, mm -hmm. um, and then a footer saying um, with a link to how to, if you have um, comments or additions or links for any of this content, um, feel feel to make a pull request against the blog. So, I mean, Diane, I kind of agree with your notion. Like, I I don't like putting this up as, like as a blog entry by itself as documentation. I think like I I want to go back to like, something Bruce was saying because I really got a lot of value out of like he was when he was setting up this list and saying like this is kind of like a primer on the things you need to be prepared for as you're getting into your okd installation and i could see it living you know either with the guides or in some okd type like long live documentation where it says like this is kind of like a read me first you know like and like what i would love to see is you know yeah links to, to specific technologies is cool but like under each one of the main headings you know, like DNS, for example, just a brief description of like what you, you know, why you need to know a little bit about DNS and then, you know, links to the rich documentation that say like, here's how you set up your DNS or whatever. Like, I would love to see that as like a primer for the guides, right? The first thing you should do is read this document and just read the bullet points about like what you need to, what you need to be prepared for, right? Now, to tie that to the blog, I think what it would be awesome to write a blog post then is to say, hey, look, we've come up with this cool way to think about how you should start planning your OKD deployment. 
you know, go check out this content or whatever. Like we could still blog about it without necessarily like setting it in stone as like documentation and blogging. Yeah. So, yeah, so basically so... you reference this as a separate document uh, as opposed to the blog. Right, right. Just like this is like, to me, again, I go back to what you said, Bruce, like, I love the notion that like, this is a document that someone who has whatever level of skill they have with these various technologies, they've got this idea in their head, they want to install OKD. And they're not sure at all, like what it takes to do that. And so they could like, you know, this is a document where they could just read through quickly and say, like, yeah, I need to understand this much about DNS, I need to at least have an idea about you know, what I'm gonna do to provision nodes and everything. And then next to it, you have all these guides that show you like, here's the actual hardware you'd need to do this. So it's like kind of a getting yourself mentally ready, you know, to make the checklist, to do the installs and everything. So that's kind of how it occurs to me. And that's what I would love to see. Perfect. I actually, okay, that's I, reasonable. So, yeah, cause I, me, like I've me, been, bear in mind that I've been trying to teach uh, students in a lot of these areas as well. So uh, it, it's amazing what uh, confusion a student will fall into, even if you give them something relatively simple, like, uh, uh, okay, here, set up a basic DNS, and here's some starter configuration files that you have to go through and understand all the links that refer to each other and so on and so on. It's not non-trivial to them. So I'm just going to step back. So our, shall we try it as a blog post to start with um, and have groupthink add these little paragraphs? Or um, Bruce, do you have enough time and on your hands to like put for each of the, the higher level ones? like? a brief one-line sentence about why this is important to OKD or what step this is in the process or what it is when you say. Um, yeah, well, my, my time, uh, I'm sort of staring uh, finals in the face uh, right. in, in two weeks uh, yeah. where we're, we're doing virtual things and because uh, of a variety of things, I need to make up new problems for everybody. So what uh, I, I would, then, so then what I would say is, yeah, go ahead. Um, if you can just put in like 200 words at the beginning of this about what you're, what the, what it is, I can take this gist file and turn it into a, a blog post on OKD.io to share with the group next week. You know, it's okay. sort of I'm jokingly saying what to expect when you're expecting kind of thing. But um, and then in next week's working group meeting, I can ask, tell people, and I'll put a footer on on how to update. You know, it's a, it'll be a self-healing blog post. Um, and then maybe what we can do, and then and then grow this into something that should be, you know, the primer, and um, and that I think that'll help. Um, that and I don't want to put the burden on you, Bruce, but I think we can collectively do a lot of this. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So so you want you don't want me to convert it to Markdown or anything, but just uh, put a it, bit of a header. Yeah, put a bit of just don't don't if you're in the middle of finals week, um, forget about it. Um, it's, you're lost now, um, and and for us for a little while. So I'm I am totally cognizant of that. But this is great, and I think then if you come to next week's OKD working group, um, we'll give you a little bit of time on there to talk about it, and um, and then we can just spark some interest in people maybe um, adding to it or um, and and then maybe adding links to if there is known documentation about doing F5 with OKD, then link link that in kind of thing or something. So, um, but I think it's a good step and it shows some progress. So I'm, I'm happy to do that. A uh, little bit of markdown for you. Yeah, so as, as a gist, uh, I just went with plain old text file as the easiest thing. Uh, so I'm not in a situation where it's easy to add uh, uh, a uh, URL yeah, with don't worry. text don't, to show it. So Yeah, don't worry. Just in the top of the gist, add a paragraph or two That's about it. what this is and you know, how we're, we've been talking about it as the, the basis of, for a primer. Right. Um, so if you have other topics, please add them in. Yeah. No, no, I, li I like uh, Mike's suggestion. Um, and that, that also takes, I guess, uh, some thinking about what is the the essence that people have to get 
on each of these topics. Yeah. Um, That's a very good word to use in the description, the essence, not the entire thing, and uh, but just the essence. But I, I almost want to see about, um, if I could figure out how, with Markdown how to set it up as a checklist so that someone might print it and go, ch -ch 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 -ch. Right. This, I'm going to do this, therefore that. I mean, it's a big if-then-else statement, too, because I think some of these steer off of each other based on what your choices are, too. So, so um, I'm not sure who the developer person is, so I'd love them to um, comment or say hi or whatever. And um, and anybody else who has any other comments, if, there, if we've missed anything on this list or if there's other alternatives um, to some of these things that you're using, um, please speak up. Um, if not, I'm, and if there's not another documentation effort um, going on, I might end this meeting a little early um, and give people back a half an hour. Anybody object to that? We've got our work cut out for us. I think so. And that gives you a half an hour back, Jamie, to look at those guides. Uh, <laughs> so. Yeah, and so Bruce, thank you for this. This is actually really, really helpful. And what I'll I'll try and do is, if you put that paragraph in and then ping me in Slack or someplace when you've done that, I'll grab yep. it and turn it into a Joseph blog. That'll make Joseph happy. Um, <laughs> and I'm using his blog. And and then um, yeah, and I've also I've got to reach out to Joseph anyways as well because he's going to give a talk at the KubeCon um, EU um, gathering uh, on his journey from OKD to Azure and beyond or whatever and so he's going to be our rep for the KubeCon gathering um, which is May 4th so um, got to hit him up for a recording date and um, he'll love that so all right well thank you guys um, okay. and everybody for joining and I will post this um, video up by the end of today it's my new goal now that I know I can save them so take care take care thanks Diane later everybody Bye-bye.